KPR, today's best country. I've got Kiefer from Thompson Square here with me. Kiefer, first off, congratulations on your first single. You're going to kiss me or not, blasting up the charts and being played on every country radio station in the world. What's it like to turn on the radio and hear your song? Man, I tell you, <laughs> I wish there was a, uh, a word to describe it, but I, I'm afraid there's not. Because, uh, you know, excited and elated and all those things just don't quite measure up, man. I mean, it's... Uh, it's it's a it's me and Shauna's first dream come true, like a real dream coming really true, and and uh, I tell you, man, it's just uh, we're so blessed and so humbled by it. It's just it's so exciting. Well, you know what? A lot of people might think that you guys are an overnight success because this is the first time they've heard you, but Kiefer, you guys are anything but an overnight success. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anything but, man. We've uh, we've been in town. Uh, see, June will be 15 years, man. Wow. So yeah, we've been here a long time. Had a had a lot of ups and uh, well, a couple of ups and a lot of downs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's been an amazing run. I'll tell you what, we had a we had a blast uh, doing what we're doing. Uh, but it's it's definitely it's definitely been tough, buddy. But it's it's very rewarding now. It's it's good to see uh, it's good to see your work pay off a little bit, you know. Oh, I'm sure it is. Now you wrote a lot of songs for this CD, Kiefer. That must be really something special for you, having your own tunes on your record. Well, you know that that's that's why I moved to town and and uh, to to sing and play, and play my own songs and and uh, on this uh, on this record uh, I wrote nine of them on there. Shauna, I think she and I together wrote seven or eight of them on there. So it's definitely been a, a nice little collaboration between us, and uh, we're uh, kind of sharing in, in every aspect of this thing. Now, when you say in town, you're not talking about downtown Kentville here, are you? No, I'm talking about Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Now, I'm sure you guys have had a lot of stuff happen over this last year, getting this CD done and everything else. What are some of the highlights, some of the things you never thought would happen to you, Kiefer? Grand Ole Opry debut at the Ryman Auditorium. That was uh, one of the most humbling experiences that me and Sean's ever have ever encountered. Usually, I'm real chatty on stage and, and running around, and, and I tell you, man, I just... It was like I was. It was. It was like I was in church in front of everybody for the first time. And it was uh, a lot of a lot of nerves and just a lot of respect, you know, uh, that went out to that. Um, that that the Grand Ole Opry means everything to me and Shauna, especially the rhyming. The uh, the song going number one has been. We're still trying to get our head around that. I tell you what, man. How how long do you have? Cause this whole year has been just one fantastic first thing after another i mean seeing the video making our first video was a, a huge highlight for us and you have not just the first song out are you going to kiss me or not hitting number one you guys are following this up with a great uh, follow-up single too oh thank you man i appreciate it the second single is it's, it's uh, i got you and and uh, i tell you what this thing has, has been really really fun uh, the video was just an absolute blast to make you know we um we used the same director in this video and and uh he wanted to he wanted to have some fun with it. We took him the idea and he kind of chiseled it down into where it made sense. And uh, so we're playing every character in the video, and it, it was just you know we're we're very lighthearted people and we like to have fun with each other and and. Uh, and so hopefully that's a pretty good representation of that. Well, it certainly does. And I'll tell you, you guys love to play dress up in this new video. And it really shows that you guys have a fun side. I mean, are you going to kiss me or not is a great video. But this one really shows the fun side of Thompson Square. Yeah, and yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to do, Jerry. We wanted to uh, we wanted to show everybody how silly we are, and and uh, we don't take we don't take uh, take ourselves too seriously. No, <laughs> I, I, it anyway. <laughs> well, no, that's a good thing. Now, I have to admit, when I first heard this song, "Are You Gonna Kiss Me or Not," it was like you guys were with me back in grade eleven on my first date because I was one of those shy guys, and the girl that I was with looked right at me and said, "Are you gonna kiss me or not?" I know, man. We've all been there, you know, and that's. That's why uh, that's why we love the song so much. I mean, as soon as we heard it, um, we wanted to record it. Um, we, we felt very passionate about that, and, and uh, we felt that it would be a single. And, and uh, you know, did, did we know it was going to be this this big of a hit? Um, I, I can't I can't say honestly yes because no one knows that. And, and uh, the stars lined up on this one, man, and, and we're very grateful for it. Well, I'm sure you are. Now, something that people might not know as well is that you and Shauna are actually married, the two from uh, Thompson Square. Yeah, man, we've been uh, we've been married for 12 years. Uh, May 15th this year will be 12 years. Well, as a matter of fact, you, yeah. and I, you and I were supposed to do this together with Shauna, but she's kind of tied up today. And the questions I have to ask you for my Fast and Furious 5 kind of relationship questions. Are you ready for them? Okay, hey. 
Hey, I know her so well, man. I can answer both questions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Five fast questions for me, five furious answers from you. Where did you guys go on your first date? To a softball game. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, what's the first movie you ever saw together? Uh, man, I have no idea, and neither does she. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your wedding song? Uh, uh, Sunday Kind of Love by Etta James. And who's the snorer in your relationship? Definitely Shauna. <laughs> and who does all the driving, Kiefer? Uh, absolutely me. Oh, you do all the driving? Oh, yeah. She hates to drive. Well, thanks for being on the show today, Kiefer. I really appreciate your time, buddy. Well, thanks for your support, brother. We appreciate you. APR, today's best country.